Yes, I am back after uh, lots of uh, fans uh, pointed out how much egg I had on my face after the uh, statistical predictions for last week. Hey, I don't make up the statistics. They just are what they are. I just present them to you and what they predict. It wasn't me and my gut prediction. As a matter of fact, if you watch the uh, video podcast with Jamie and myself, um, I actually didn't think uh, Auburn would do well. I actually bet my own money against Auburn. I still thought Auburn would win, but there was no way they would cover that spread. Um, and then I also pretty much thought that uh, Alabama would pull out a win, but it would be close. So uh, I give you the statistical analysis. This is what the stats say. I'll tell you this. The stats have been, when they're right, they're way more right than I am and just me eyeballing a game. So that's why I've continued to do these because we had some really good successes early on. So, no, I'm not a fool. It's just a segment that we do. You can take it or leave it. And uh, as I've said in other videos... If you'd like to start doing uh, predictions and putting them up on YouTube, please send me the link where I can watch them and see how often you're a fool. Uh, nevertheless, Alabama-Mississippi State, this is the game of the week. Um, what is it, number five now, Alabama, they got them ranked number one, Mississippi State. Uh, Mississippi State's got some criticism for not playing anybody. Alabama gets some criticism for not really playing anybody. Um, after this game, neither no one on the planet will be able to say that. Um, uh, Alabama's a well, they were Alabama and they've gotten better throughout the season. I'm gonna tell you, they looked horrible at LSU. Look, LSU gave that game away. I'm not trying to piss off my Alabama friends, but they gave Alabama gave it or, or LSU gave it away. Um, the play calling was horrible there in the uh third and fourth quarter, but I mean, Alabama's play calling was horrible as well. And then you had uh, uh Alabama at the, at the end of that game in an obvious th throw every down situation. LSU knew this and couldn't stop them after stopping them all game. That's kind of odd that you, you know, it's, when you think about it, uh, all game where you can try to have a balanced offense, you can try to scheme, you can try to trick, you can try to do certain things, but then when it comes down to whatever's left, what it was, a minute, two minutes, or whatever, and you, you have an offense that's in an obvious passing every down situation, you know they're going to pass, and then you can't stop them when you know what they're going to do. That was kind of weird. Um, then their quarterback made a bizarre decision to toss that ball up and to try to do a Hail Mary when he did, he had a wide open first down run that would have gave him a fresh set of downs to put points on the board. So, look, and I saw this, uh, I saw a couple of uh, talking heads saying what I was thinking. And uh, you got to be careful, especially when you're an Auburn fan and you're talking about Alabama, you're going to be called, uh, you know, you're going to be called a Barner or whatever. But I'm sorry, Alabama was lucky to get out of their win. That doesn't take away from how good they played, um, if you want to call that good. I don't think either one of those teams played well. That you know, I was talking to somebody during text during that game. Um, that wasn't like the, you know, you remember the LSU-Alabama game that was, was was six to three or whatever it was. What was that score? That was a good game. There was no scoring, but I really enjoyed watching that game. God, there was some amazing plays during that game and the talent on the field and the chess match. And, I mean, it, that game was amazing to watch. I would watch the games like that. I don't care. I like defense. This game wasn't a monstrous defensively look how brilliant they are game. The offenses sucked. The play calling was bad. Um, both teams played horrible. And Alabama was lucky to get out with a win. I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm not taking away from how well they played. Under the circumstances, they got the job done. Look, that's all. That, that's all. I would say the same thing about uh, uh, Auburn. I mean, Auburn sucked. Come on. Auburn sucked so bad. But anyway, we won't get into that. Um, here's uh, what the stats say. Uh, we're looking at uh, Alabama uh, playing at home. Uh, they should be able to put up 37.8 or so. I'm giving them a field goal, even though Alabama's field goal kicking unit sucks to high heavens. Um, you know, they, they came through a little bit in that game versus LSU. <laughs> Maybe they can continue that. I don't know. If Nick Saban needs to do anything, he needs to get better at recruiting uh, field goal kickers. Um, Mississippi State on the road. Um, expect that they put up big numbers, but boy, Alabama at home. Look at this statistic here, Alabama at home. Granted, they played some real softies at home, which contributes to these numbers, but still, it's very impressive. Alabama at home uh, giving up 8.2 <laughs> points a game. Come on now. Um, 
I think that's a bit of an exaggeration because I don't think they've played anybody quite like this uh, Mississippi State offense with das- Dak Prescott, who hopefully will be you know feeling well. He will need to uh, for them to have a shot. Otherwise, it could look this bad or worse. Um, nevertheless, uh, I've given them a field goal as well to kind of pad the points a little bit. Um, but still, you're looking at a reasonably convincing Alabama win. Uh, Alabama is favored in this game, which I also find – it's a home field, I think, is the main thing. I think if we were on the road, I think Mississippi State would be, be favored by a tad. Um, but but I think, what, is Alabama favored by a field goal now or something like that? Uh, nevertheless, this predicts that they should cover. I don't think it's going to be quite this extreme as long as Dak uh, Prescott feels well – is healthy and and can execute. I think I think it'll look a little better than this, um, but I still think Alabama can pull out the win. Whether they beat the spread or not, I don't know. Honestly, I haven't looked at the spread today, um, but I know they're not favored by much. It's a field goal or a touchdown, I think. Maybe what they're favored by. So, um, you know, beating the spread on that might be a little bit of a difference. If you look at these yardages, though, man, look, you know, look at these rushing yardages. I mean, both teams are going to have to wind up passing, really, um, if, if this comes out to be anywhere near true. Uh, this says Mississippi State. And keep in mind, these are road statistics for Mississippi State. Uh, you know, they're only giving up 83 rushing yards a game. That's... That's pretty intense. That's pretty darn nifty. Uh, uh, Alabama giving up 62 at home. That's pretty darn nifty as well. Uh, nevertheless, one of these teams is going to have to rush. Um, I thought it was one of the problems with the Alabama LSU game was they really didn't try to establish that run game, which I thought they should have tried harder to do. But uh, we'll see what they do at home. Nevertheless, there's the game prediction. Uh, Alabama wins. Um, and I, and this has covers the spread, so that'll be interesting to see. <laughs>